What is up guys, Nathan here, and today I'm going to give you five simple ways to quickly improve your poker game and start getting much better results. Let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so having played poker professionally for over 10 years myself and having coached hundreds of students, especially in small and mid-stakes games, these are the top five things that I think anybody, literally anyone, even beginners, can take to the poker table right now and start quickly getting better results for themselves. So in no particular order, let's jump right into it. Number one is finding your leaks. Guys, it's still crazy to me that so many people simply sit down to play poker and that's all they do. They just expect that they're simply going to win. They're magically going to get the results that they want. They're just, they're a poker genius. They know it all, something like that. Guys, serious professional poker players, semi-pros, pros, they simply do not approach the game of poker like this. They know that that is a foolish strategy overall. And guys, if you want to improve at poker, it's the same thing as if you want to improve at basketball. You got to practice your jump shot. You got to do layup drills. You got to watch game film. You got to do all the stuff, guys, that's going to help improve your game and you need to do it consistently. So with poker, you need to be reviewing your hands and finding your leaks, finding what you're potentially doing wrong. Wrong. Again, if you just sit down to play poker and you never actually review your hands and try to find out what you might be doing wrong and what you might be doing right as well, how can you ever expect to improve in this game? So now let's talk about how do you actually do this? Because that's what everyone wants to know, of course. Now, if you play online poker, this is really simple. You just use a program like Poker Tracker. I've used this program for over 10 years as a professional, and I have literally spent thousands of hours reviewing my hands in my database. By the way, I'll have links for everything in the description below. A lot of people think that a poker tracker, the HUD is for the numbers that are on your screen. You know, that, that's what everyone thinks it's for. And while I do use it at the poker table, I do use the HUD, I do think it will help you get better results as well. Guys, the biggest reason why poker tracker is so valuable is because you can study your own hands. You can filter for any situation imaginable, pot size, specific hands. Maybe you're having trouble with a hand like Ace King, for example, just filter in the program program for pots with ace king that are less than 50 big blinds and more than 20 big blinds those sort of middle in the road hands those are the hands that i'm studying consistently guys to make sure that i'm playing these hands well or if i'm making mistakes then i'm going to fix that next time i play poker and also crucially i'm studying the other good players in my games to find out what they might be doing better than me this is one of the biggest ways that i've been able to learn and improve my game over the years is just studying the other good players in my games, guys. Now, a lot of people play live poker, of course. So they play online poker on a site that doesn't allow a HUDs, for example, or poker tracker. In that situation, guys, you need to be perhaps using a journal, inputting your hands in some sort of app or something. There's so many of them out there these days. Whatever you need to do, guys, you need to be putting in the hours away from the table, studying your hands, improving your hands, and also, once again, learning from the other good players that they're at your table. What are they doing that might be better than you it's very important guys not to get an ego in this game and to always be learning and improving which moves me on to thing number two that you can do to start quickly improving your game is probably nothing better than this and that is simply hiring a coach guys i've mentioned throughout my professional poker career i have hired multiple coaches both on the strategy side and the mental game side as well this is one of the absolute quickest ways to quickly improve your results because you get one on one custom advice from a high level winning poker player that is specifically tailored to you. I've, done, I've actually done a lot of coaching myself as well. And I'm sorry, I get asked a lot. I actually don't coach anymore. But when I did in the past, you know, I'd be working one on one with this player going through often their poker tracker database and also giving them live sweats while they're playing. We discuss the hands that they're playing in real time to try to figure out ways to get them to play better. Often they would actually just watch me as well. We'd often just do this through team viewer or a lot of people use uh, Skype or Zoom these days and you can literally just share screens and discuss hands in real time. So guys, th there's really no better way to quickly improve your game these days than to hire a coach. Now there's a couple big things with hiring a coach. Number one, you want to make sure they actually have a winning track record. There's a lot of people out there these days that call themselves a poker coach and really they don't have any real results. Now the other thing is you don't need to be like Phil Ivey though. You, know, you don't need to be the best player in the world in order to be a poker coach. This is what a lot of people get wrong. A lot of the best coaches in the world in many other sports were by no means the best players. They were the best community 
communicators instead. And so this is another massive thing you need to find in a coach. And I will say lastly, the biggest red flag with a coach is if they're offering their services to you, they're soliciting you as, as a client, this is just run for the hills, guys. No good poker coach worth their salt ever needs to go and advertise their services because everybody knows they're a good poker coach already. Clients come to them. Once again, I've never advertised my poker coaching services. When I used to coach poker in the past, it would come to me based on word of mouth, testimonials, and so on. So guys, hopefully those tips will help you with hiring a poker coach. I know it's not cheap. This is one of the most costly ways in order to improve your game. But for those that are serious, this is one very effective method. Let's move on to thing number three that you can do to quickly improve your poker game, and that is to play heads up. Guys, I've talked about this before in these videos. By the way, make sure you subscribe so you never miss my new ones, is that playing heads up is literally the purest form of poker out there. And by the way, when I say heads up, I'm talking about two player game just you against one other player. And so you're gonna be playing basically every single hand and you're also going to be making a lot of marginal decisions. This is why Heads Up is the number one way to improve your game is because you're constantly in situations where you don't even have a pair, where you literally have Jack High, Queen High, King High, something like that. And you have to play poker in these situations. You need to learn some higher level hand reading, for example, and understanding that a lot of time your opponent does doesn't have a pair either and you need to look for the inflection points and the boards that are going to be in effective for you to apply pressure against them and to make them fold their hand even when you have nothing. So guys, I know it's a lot easier to play, you know, full ring or a nine player game or a six player game. It's a lot easier to sit down and just, you know, sit back and wait for a good hand. But if you truly want to improve your poker game quickly, I'm telling you there's no better way than to simply play heads up one on one versus some Somebody else. All right, guys, let's move on to simple way number four to quickly improve your poker game. And this one should actually be pretty obvious, but it is to play consistently. Guys, if there is one thing that has helped me improve my poker game over the years and to play this game as professional, travel the world and everything is that I simply played more poker than everyone else. This has literally been my badge of honor since day one in this game. I always wanted to be known as the guy that was always at your table. I'm always on your left raising you up and I'm there playing poker even when you're sleeping when you're at work I don't care I'm gonna be at your poker table and guys what this did playing I played over 10 million hands of poker is this allows me to see the same common situations again and again and again but I've seen them a hundred times or a thousand times as much as the average poker player and what this does is it eventually sears in your mind that you need to start folding in this situation or you need to start raising in this situation. Guys, you're simply learning from your own mistakes through trial and error. This is literally the number one way to get better at this game is to simply practice it again and again and again. I see so many people come to me these days that they're having trouble winning consistently in poker and I ask to see their database and they've literally played 20,000 hands in their entire poker career. And guys, this isn't even enough hands to get past basic variance in this game. And what I mean by that is the routine ups and downs that all poker players face. Guys, you need to start playing much more poker than this. This is 20,000 hands. I would play that easily in a week during my heaviest grinding days, often in one day. If you take the game of poker seriously, guys, you need to start putting in the hours, making this game a priority in your life. And once again, guys, I'm not saying that you need to be valuing poker above your wife, your kids, your job, or something like that. Obviously, there are things that are more important in life than poker. However, if you're serious about poker, that Netflix show is not more important than you playing poker. That Reddit or that forum or even the comments below this video, they're not important, guys, if playing poker is a priority for you. Guys, so many people spend a lot of time doing stuff, especially on their phones, on the internet these days, that really is not helping them achieve their goals in the game. You know, you can talk about poker all day and there's nothing particularly wrong with that, but 
If you want to get real results in this game, guys, you got to put in the hours at the poker table, and you're not going to get that unless you place poker above a lot of things in life and make it a real priority. All right, guys, my final tip, number five, to quickly improve your poker game is to invest in poker books and courses. One of the great things about poker these days is that there are more ways than ever to quickly improve your results that are not going to cost you an arm and a leg like a coach actually can. Most poker books and courses these days are literally between around $20 to $100, $200, something like that. An amount of money that most people can easily afford, and these often include an entire strategy, an entire playbook for how to quickly get better results in these games. You're going to learn from some of the best poker players in the world, and there are so many good modern poker books, modern training courses out there these days that are literally the cost of a buy-in in your games right now and that could make a massive difference to your bottom line. I've written three poker books myself and I also just released a brand new training course which is called Black Rain 79 University. I will have links for all of that in the description below. But guys hopefully these five tips will help you out in your poker games. These are definitely the top ways that have allowed me to get ahead consistently and also stay on top in this game. That is another crucial point probably for another video is guys you need to consistently be improving your game. There is no end point in poker where you've magically climbed to the top of the poker mountain and you know everything. That's simply not the way the game works, guys. Real professionals and semi-professionals are constantly working on their game and especially with these five things in this video, guys. Hopefully this one helped. Make sure you like and subscribe if it did. And also, once again, if you want to know my complete strategy to crush small and mid-stakes games, you can grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet. That will be the top link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will catch you next time.